so in group therapy the other day, <laughs> we were talking about treatment. We were talking about how our lives developed around treatment and how sometimes we feel like we don't have a life outside of treatment. Now that may sound a little bit weird, but keep in mind that we are patients who have been in treatment for multiple months, sometimes even years. I know a patient who's in treatment for years, you know, not necessarily, not necessarily residential, but in a program that kept them in there for eight to 12 months. And it wasn't fun. It was a bit scary, but um, for its lack of funness, and there were parts that were fun, but for its lack of funness, there was effectiveness when it came to the realm of helping you mentally. Because mental hospitals and therapy and stuff like that, group therapy, it always contributes to your mental health. And it's always nice to see that, oh, other people relate with me. I was in group therapy the other day and a girl was like, hey, I'm feeling really, really bad and I'm starting to see things and hear things. And I was like, I know it's not um, it's not fun. And don't listen to all the bullshit people say that you are because I had a person tell me I needed to be exercised, which isn't exactly helpful. <laughs> they, uh, I had a person tell me to go to like some church and get exercise, but that's aside the point. We were talking about how so much of our life was spent in treatment. And just like how that, the example of that girl that I used, I, I was able to relate with somebody. I was able to have somebody who can understand my problems at a personal level. And being in treatment just genuinely feels like you're being heard, you're being listened to. You know, a lot of the time when people in Hawaii, they experience mental health issues it's more of the more people try to come out about their mental health experiences the more people other people try to fix it and it's not necessarily something to fix you know sometimes having a mental illness is more about existing with it and not letting it rule your life because you know there are forms of mental illness like um um dysthymia where you're experiencing depression for a very long time. I described it to my therapist like this. It's pi. It's low, but it's it's low on the intensity scale, but it feels endless. And that's kind of what like dysthymia is. Dysthy I'm not a doctor. I'm studying I I'm starting to become a counselor, but I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but essentially when it came to um when it came to oh frig, I I lost my train of thought. But when it comes to treatment you're able to come out with, to people and have them understand you rather than trying to fix you, rather than trying to fix the problem. They don't look at you as like so, a problem that needs to be solved, like a math equation. No, they look at you and they think, oh, this is somebody who's broken, who needs help. And sometimes that help doesn't even have to come in the form of therapy. Sometimes it could be just someone sitting down and talking to you. I know when I was in the mental hospital, I was put on eating disorder watch and I was talking to the uh, one of the head nurses and she just sat down and talked to me. Just throughout uh, our free time and I, and I was telling her about my eating disorder and she was like okay so we're gonna we're gonna do this this and this we're gonna monitor you we're gonna see how much you eat we're gonna see um, how you are after a meal so that you don't force yourself to throw up and stuff like that and having that kind of support is something you don't we don't have outside i mean when i tell my parents my dad's like oh just shut up suck it up and my mom is like okay i'm gonna try and fix you i don't want to be fixed i want to be helped to move forward i don't have to be perfect to move forward i don't have to be fixed to move forward but i but what i can do is be the best that i can be and move forward with that if that makes any sense so did a little bit of a short video i know it's not exactly something that a lot of people are interested in but hey i think it's interesting and uh i just wanted to talk about that so i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one Ahoy ho, malama puno.